Okay, folks, so violence. As you know, we've been talking more and more about this monkeypox trade and specifically the testing side of it. And this company, APDN, this morning appeared on our radar and it ended up surging going from yesterday's after hours lows at 64 cents to just over $5 as of a few minutes ago. And for context, we did brief on this bad, bad boy in the morning in the pre-market and it went significantly farther than we expected. Anyways, moving forward, as we know with a lot of these monkeypox stocks, you tend to see a big run and then they cool down and then they have the infamous second inning. You saw that with GovX, you saw that with Sega, and you saw it on a much shorter time horizon with Verax, and I fully expect that to happen again with APDN. We're going to cover three things. Number one, why is it running? Number two, future catalysts for the stock to be aware of. And number three, a potential trading strategy for this and whether or not it is a buy. And full disclaimer, I love stocks that have huge volatility, but with huge volatility comes not just huge opportunity, but also huge responsibility and huge opportunity for risk to the downside. And because this is an ultra small cap, I do want to be even extra clear. We have no open position in this prior to posting the video, nor do we accept money from companies to talk about their stocks. And in fact, historically, if you look back, it seems like the Charlie effect. When Charlie posts a video on a stock, it seems to be more negative than it is positive. So if anything, companies might want to pay me not to talk about their stocks. But the point is my opinions in this video are really just my opinions. Okay, APDN. So what is it? Well, it's a life sciences company focused on the production and detection of DNA. They provide preclinical contract research and manufacturing services for others. And they also have a very interesting DNA authentication security protocol that they sell. And they make most of their revenue via contracts with clients that allow them to provide testing and other associated services. And this morning, APDN came out and said it commenced analytical validation of a PCR-based monkeypox virus test, aka they are in the final stages and about to validate their test. Here is what was reported on Yahoo Finance and Business Wire. Applied DNA Sciences, a leader in PCR-based technologies, announced that its wholly owned clinical laboratory subsidiary, Applied DNA Clinical Labs, LLC, has initiated analytical validation of a company-developed PCR-based monkeypox virus test that is specific for the genetic signature of the monkeypox virus test. The test has been developed as a type of New York Department of Health laboratory-developed test. If the test is validated by the ADCL, which are their labs, a validation package will be submitted to the New York State Department of Health for approval. If approved, the test will be used to power ADCLs and by extension the parent company APDN's monkeypox test testing services. Okay, yes, wordy, but here are my takeaways. Number one, they obviously have a monkeypox test designed to meet the New York Health Department's guidelines. Number two, their labs are prepping to validate it, which is the announcement that caused the rally. Number three, once validated, it's going to be submitted to the New York State Department of Health for approval, which is another catalyst that we have to look forward to. And based on recent announcements from New York, it seems like they're going to be streamlining anything that has monkeypox attached to it. And if it gets approved there, it's only a matter of time before people are going to be speculating, hey, this is going to start going to other places as well as we rush to get more and more testing, which means more opportunities for future catalysts, whether or not that becomes true. They went on, quote, based on our experience with the COVID-19 pandemic, we are keenly aware of the crucial role PCR-based diagnostic tools can play in responding and helping to control public health outbreaks. With a proven workflow and testing services born of COVID-19, upon test approval, ADCL stands ready to apply its testing capacity in service of New Yorker's health. Okay, so their value here is obviously in the testing segment. And what kind of market is that going to be? Is it going to continue to expand? Well, Wired ran a story yesterday explaining that there's a huge monkeypox testing bottleneck. Grid reported that monkeypox is spreading undetected because testing is a mess, echoing the early days of COVID. An expert told Grit News, quote, this virus is likely to stick around. We are going to have a long-term need for flexible diagnostics. Bringing in commercial labs, as the federal government did in early July, is a start. Obviously, a commercial lab like a PDN has is going to be very, very relevant. The U.S. needs to diversify testing with non-governmental labs, developing different kinds of tests. So-called laboratory developed tests are designed by private labs and could make the U.S. testing capacity more expansive and resilient. Now, in the last week, you saw New York, California, Illinois, and probably by the time you watch this video, other states and localities declare this to be a public health emergency. And when you do that, it leads to more government spending being put to things like testing, to vaccines, and so on and so forth. Right now, every state except for Vermont, Montana, and Wyoming have confirmed cases. 
This morning, the Redefiner in Chief tapped top officials to lead the federal monkeypox response. Now, if you've looked at how monkeypox spreads, unlike something like a COVID that spreads via the air, it seems like monkeypox so far, based on my understanding and based on the experts that are talking about this and their understanding, which tends to change sometimes, it seems like it's mostly spread by aggressive skin-to-skin -skin contact. Right now, it seems like it's mostly spread through people hooking up with each other, but it can also be spread in other ways. And in fact, there's speculation that even kids could get it by plane. In fact, this morning, it was reported that two more children are positive for monkeypox. I imagine when school goes back into session, this could be a big problem, right? The CDC also also says that touching objects, fabrics, clothing, bedding, or towels, and surfaces that have been used by someone with monkeypox could also lead to a possible infection. But based on my understanding, again, it seems like it's mostly so far understood to be spread by aggressive skin-on-skin -skin contact. So obviously it has the proven potential to continue to spread, but maybe it's not going to be the biggest disaster in the world. We will see. So certainly something to keep in mind because the trades that you're seeing right now for monkeypox are probably going to be the most intense because we're still pretty early in the cycle before we're really finding out what this thing is, right? And if it ends up not being as big of a deal, well, all of a sudden these trend trades just die off rapidly. So anyways, in terms of basic questions of whether or not APDN is a buy, well, you'll never see me recommending buying a stock after it's up 500% at highs in a trading period, a single trading period nonetheless. Almost always that would end bad. But from a trading perspective, here's some of my suggestions. Number one, follow the red directional SMA on the daily chart. You're going to get periods where APDN dumps, rejects its upper direction over the red directional and accepts a downtrend and then sells off 50, 60, 70%. And then the coming days after, you'll see a break right back above it. This type of stock can go really, really fast. So you want to focus on that one day chart. You're going to have days where it's really, really fun to play and other days where it's just selling off like a tsunami. These types of plays, you want to play with the trend. Controlling your trade at bare minimum by making sure you're above that red directional SMA line. Of course, one of the reasons why I took somewhat of a hiatus from really covering a lot of short-term trades in depth on the channel is because I feel like I can't do risk management justice in such a short video. But I encourage you, if this is completely foreign to you, to start learning the basics. And I have a video called Day Trading for Beginners that I made two years ago, which you can find on the main channel homepage. I also have 53 videos in our trading tutorials playlist. Of course, we also have our comprehensive 10-hour Zip Trader U program and all of the resources alongside that. Obviously, you know about that. Coupon code or session 50 will get you 50% off. But the point is, if you really want to learn how to gauge a stock, it's not so simple as saying, oh, do I buy or sell? It depends on your time horizon, right? Depends on the goal of the position. If you're trying to trade off a trend, well, you have to be using something like a red directional SMA line to take advantage of that trend. You have to have a clear distinction between when you are following a trend versus when you're not. And that's why something like an SMA line is very, very helpful, right? And you got to have a list of other factors that say, hey, well, wait a second. Are the probabilities stacked in my favor or against me? Okay, predictions. Well, you're seeing these monkeypox pump cycles and these new monkeypox trades appear. And the first pump period usually has a shelf life of about a period and a half, a trading period and a half, which means I wouldn't be surprised to see another attempt at a new high in the pre-market or early market open before it's inevitable leg down cycle that kills its overall direction temporarily, or as I like to say, transitorily. But with a little bit of time and a little bit of extra luck as this monkeypox trade continues to heat up, we could easily see another momentum wave by the end of next week, if not earlier. I think you're probably gonna see this test start having some good news faster than you expect. I think you're gonna see some more overall hype capital going in and chasing monkeypox stocks. And I think it's going to be very, very relevant. So in addition to the other monkeypox stocks that we've talked about and are watching for trading opportunities like your GovX, your VRAX, your SEGA, and so forth, certainly make sure to watch this bad, bad boy as well. Anyways, that caps off the video, folks. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us below. If you want to learn how to trade rather violently with our step-by-step -step lessons, private chat, daily morning briefings, as well as our full price target list and all other trading resources that we offer with the program, I'll put a link to ZipTraderU below. Coupon code Recession50 will get you 50% off our one-time fee for lifetime access. If you want to get up to 10 free stocks, Moomoo still actually has that promotion going on through the beginning of August. So you can use that link down below to check them out. Have a good rest of your day. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.